In this problem, we're going to perform an ANOVA, an analysis of variance. We have two variables. The independent variable is the type of automobile make, the type of make, so type 1, 2, or 3, and the dependent variable is miles per gallon. And our test is to determine is there a significant difference between the average miles per gallon of one type of automobile versus another or a third. Keep in mind with an ANOVA our null hypothesis is that the means are all equal. Mu1 equals mu2 equals mu3. So we have the data here laid out in rows and we're going to analyze it. We could go ahead and turn it into column data if we so chose by simply highlighting, doing a copy, repositioning our cursor, and then doing a paste special values transpose OK. And now the data is in columns. Whichever you prefer, both of those will work. So we're ready to analyze our data now. So I will go to the data tab, data analysis, and I'm going to choose a single factor ANOVA procedure tell it that that's what I'm interested in. It wants to know where the input data is. I'll select the columns here. Tell it that it's grouped by columns, not rows. I could if I selected the upper section here. I could have said rows, but since we've gone ahead and transposed the data, we're ready to use the columns. I do have labels in the first row and we're going to output the results to a new worksheet. And so here we have our, our results. Let's go ahead and expand it a bit. We notice that our F statistic is 6.36 but our p-value is 0 0.01 which if we are using alpha of 0 0.05 that tells us that it's significant and therefore the means are not equal. But we would like to have more information than simply that the means are not equal. So to do that, we're going to run the Tukey test. And that test looks for significant differences. To do that, we're going to use two pieces of information from our print here. We're going to use the within group mean square error. And we're going to use the within group degrees of freedom. So I will select our new or our worksheet, our Tukey CMD test worksheet, and begin to put in the data here in the yellow sections. Notice that we only have three samples and our table down here is set up for four. So we will simply leave the fourth column blank and not try to use it in our interpretation. So first of all, we need the mean square differences. I'm going to highlight it and copy, control C or I could use copy here and then go to the Tukey sheet and do a paste of values and we have that particular value there. I'll get the degrees of freedom from the printout and the degrees of freedom are 12 so we'll input the number 12 right there uh, sample size, we can go back to our print. Notice that it says the size or the count of the individual samples is 5. So we'll insert a 5 there. We need the Q value from the table. So going there, we need to know the number of treatments and we need to know the degrees of freedom. Okay, since we had three different types, we actually have three groups, three categories three treatments here so we'll take a look at number of treatments being three we're going to scroll down to 12 degrees of freedom we see that our Q value is right here 3.77 and that's at the 0.05 level we would choose the other value here if we were going at the 0.01 so 3.77 is our number that gets plugged into 3.77 Seven, seven plugged in right there. Now we need to bring over one more piece of information and that is the averages of the means 
and I, I'm going to sort them before I copy them in. I'm going to sort them in descending order. So first things first, I'm going to do a copy. I'm just going to grab some white space out here so I can do my little transformation. There we've copied it. Now I'm going to do a fast sort. Obviously I could just move them around because of the fact there are so few, but we'll go ahead and step through the procedures. We're stored, sorting right there on column H and I want to go from the largest to the smallest. And now we have our values. I'm going to highlight them. Copy. We'll go back to our Tukey sheet and do a paste of values. Paste values. And now I want to do the same thing across the top. So I'm going to do a copy here. I'm going to do that trans transform copy again a paste special values bring don't bring any formatting transpose okay now we're going to ignore the fourth row here because it doesn't have any impact on our analysis what we're looking for is to see which of the comparison means happens to be greater than our benchmark and so as I look at these I notice that 0.46 is certainly not. 0.344 definitely is, and three and 2.98 definitely is. And so what this is telling us is that the 22.1 miles per gallon mean is significantly different than the 18.66 type mean and that the 21.64 mean is significantly different than the 18.6. So in other words, the mean that is really significantly lower happens to be this 18.66. Let's go back and see who that is based on our data right here. That's type 1. And so it tells us, based on Tukey's value, that type 2 and type 3 are statistically significantly different than type 1. That's all there is to it.